I met a gypsy. Well, I think too, like one of the things watching this season that was kind of alarming and that was the first time I've really like, man, I think this whole like facility thing starting to affect the racing because like Cooper and Marvin, Marvin didn't have a fight for Cooper in the championship really. And I look at it as like Coop was probably schooling him every single day at Alden's. And you know what Coop's like in terms of I'd be willing to bet it was the other way around. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. But I bet, so you, from, I yeah, bet yeah. you Marvin is amazing. From what I heard. Monday to Friday, I bet you Marvin is a but real pain in the there's obviously something ass. about Webb that got into Marvin's head to He's the point racer. where yeah, yeah. he just yeah. walks around. So, like, could you imagine – Marv's, like, got kind of a cruisy, mellow dude. Could you imagine being around a guy – like, a, Coop's kind of like – you were, you know, like the way that you sort of walk around super com- confident. He's it's a little like, bit more know. gritty, I think. You know, like uh, most weekends this year that I watched at least, especially in the ones where I was hurt and I was going to the races and taking it in from a different perspective. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of times where I didn't see Cooper Webb like looking like he's going to go out and smoke everybody in, in, in a couple hours time. Yeah. Um, you know, and then, but once they dropped the gates, it seemed like there was always, um, his starts were, were on one point and then, uh, pretty much just hit the ground running and it just kind of like that flow happens, you know, like I always feel like my best nights come from tough yeah. qualifying and stuff like that. You kind of grind it out, try to find, you know, Maybe you're finding the limits or you're struggling with the racetrack, but when they drop the gates, you know, I think that's the equalizer right there. Yeah, uh, he's just like, he said it perfectly, Chad did. Cooper Webb is a racer. And I don't, yeah, he does he want to post good times? Of course he does. Does he get wrapped around the axle if he doesn't? No. Guys do. You know, this guy doesn't. And, you know, like when I was racing Chad, do you could throw lap times out the window. Of course, yeah, he wanted to matter. put in. No, it's just you know he's going to be yeah. there in the main event. He's going to get a good start. If he doesn't, he's at least going to be up front, and it's going to be game on. Cooper Webb is a lot, very similar in the way that he does things. Yeah. And you just know he's just going to he's gonna find a way to be there. He positions himself in a great spot. I mean, dude, you don't do that by luck. Dungey no. was the same way. Yeah. He was the same way. Yeah. I was the same way. Stu was the same way. Guys like that just find a way to put themselves up front. And in my opinion, I think that's really hard to teach, man. You can teach that. I honestly think that, you know, champs are – Champs are born, not built. I really honestly believe that. Well, I think then maybe that's what frustrated Marv to that point is that, like, maybe Marv was the dude that was smoking him every single day at the test track, but he couldn't beat him on the weekend. Well, one would assume you know? that Marv Dunge is gone and Marv's going to be the guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, especially, I mean... Well, Coop, Coop said, I'm the number two dude this yeah. year. And he, like, went to Marv, and he literally... <laughs> like, there was, like... They had to have a team meeting. Like, did you guys hear about no. that? No, I didn't They either. pretty much, like, when Coop rocked up at Alden's, he pretty much walked up and said... Hey, I've been a dick to you. I've been a dick to you, like Osborne. Yeah, yeah. I've been a dick to you, Marv. And he's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. And like, I know Marv's the number one guy. I'm the number two, dude. And then look what happened. Like, mm-hmm. dude, it's got to be a gnarly. Who was your like, source on that? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was close. Was it Bubs? It was Bubs. Okay. Yeah. That's my right. guy. That's my right. guy. You're, that's your buddy. <laughs>